picture is worth a thousand words, but they can be really helpful in helping us envision our past. In today's episode, we will look at a few free online resources for finding historical photographs of the Mid-Willamette Valley. We'll start at home. While the Willamette Heritage Center doesn't have a searchable database of our photos online yet, there are a number that have been digitized on our website and several finding aids that might help you connect with photos you're looking for. To search what has been digitized, simply hit the magnifying glass in the up-hand corner here and enter your search parameters. Say we're interested in Jason Lee. Hit search again and it will pull up all the posts that have been connected or have the search term of Jason Lee in it. For photographs, click on something that looks interesting there. And this one, we actually have a photograph down here from the Willamette Heritage Center's collections. You'll notice that in each of the pictures that we put up on our website, that there's a citation of where it came from. If you see WHC and a long number after that, that's our identification number. And know that that image is from our collections. From other collections, we're really good about citing where the photo actually came from. The Willamette Heritage Center cares for over 200,000 photographic images, and not all are online yet. If you're looking for something specific, we really, really recommend that you send us an email to research at willametteheritage.org. We can search our internal database and send you a, a list and an overview of the materials that might be interesting to you. Make sure you're real specific in your requests. Another way to access some of the images in the Willamette Heritage Center's collections is through the Oregon Historic Photograph Collections website. This is currently hosted by the City of Salem and was done in conjunction with several collecting organizations in the Salem area several years ago. In addition to materials from the former Marion County Historical Society's collections, which is now part of the Willamette Heritage Center, you'll be able to find images from the Ben Maxwell collection of the Salem Public Library, the Oregon State Archives, the Bush House Museum, and even the Statesman Journal. The site is really easy to search. Just type in the search term you're interested in. We'll try streetcars for fun. And up pops a whole big list of images that have streetcars in them or in this case, streets and cars. <laughs> you can click on the item to see it bigger, and it'll give you a little bit of background information, metadata. The collections field right here will tell you where the original image is housed. If you want more information about the image, you need a higher resolution, or you want to use it for publication, you're going to have to contact that organization directly. For the Marion County Historical Society materials, again, contact us at the Willamette Heritage Center, research at willametteheritage.org. For other organizations, you need to contact them directly as well. Another great resource for Mid-Willamette Valley photographic materials is the State Library of Oregon. Located in Salem, they have a really large photographic collection. Of specific interest to people researching Mid-Willamette Valley history is the Trover photographic collection. Trover had a studio here in Salem and took many portraits uh, in the early 20th century, and the Sigmund collection, which has a lot of early images and portraits of people in the Sanium Canyon area. Again, super easy to use. Type in this field the search terms that you're interested in using. We'll look for Clyde Sherman here. Hit search and up comes information about related to Clyde Sherman or something similar to it, including this adorable picture, baby picture of Clyde Sherman as a baby. To see it bigger, you can hit on the resource URL and it should open up and allow you to zoom in on this image itself. There are a couple of individual museums that have really comprehensive search functions through their collections that might include materials from the Middle Atlantic Valley. One of those is the Oregon Historical Society located up in Portland. If you hit their search catalogs, you can search through for images of individuals um, or places in the Midland Valley area. So let's see what they've got in terms of Staten. If you're interested in just gen general information, you can use their simple search. If you're interested in specifically photographs, you can also create a, a search parameter there too, so that it only includes photographic materials. So searching for information on Staten in this store. And it provides a whole lot of options here uh, related to that, including 
fields of corn near West Staten West in 1911. Click on the image to be able to get more metadata and on the scroll down and it should allow you to click on this image to see a larger version of that photo itself. The St. Paul Mission Historical Society is another organization that's put a large swath of their photos and other documents online. You can hit the keyword search and type in the individual or place you're interested in looking for more information about. If you're more specific and you use the quotations, you can get exact phrases for information. I hit here and it shows me that I've got two cards cabinet cards or images of Wiley Moores. Click on the item you're interested in for more information about where it came from, um, and you can see it also bigger if you need to. Two schools also have really great photographic resources for uh, the Mid Willamette Valley area. Willamette University has a number of collections with digitized photographic information. Particular, a particular interest probably to local researchers are going to be the campus photograph collection, which shows a lot of materials of what the campus in downtown Salem looks like, the postcard collection, and the Polis Glatz plate negative collection. Uh, if you click on one of these collections here, you again can enter your um, search term we'll look for pictures of the capital here and it should bring up a wide variety of historical images connected to Middle Amp Valley area. Oregon State University and their special collections and archives has a number of photographic materials related to this area. Of particular interest to Mid Willamette Valley researchers is probably going to be the Oregon Multicultural Archives, which you can go through by clicking on the collection itself. You can also use the search term to search for different things. Perhaps we're interested in flax production. It's going to provide links to there. We can open those up and see what types of uh, materials might be connected. There's some film and video, some manuscripts and personal papers, some oral histories, and photographs. So if we're interested in the agricultural photograph collection, we can click on there. It will give us a very long listing of the things that are in this collection. Um, some of the things you'll notice just are listed as, as that goes. Um, and some of them may have been digitized and have a URL on there. Uh, you can use the control F function on your browser to be able to search for flax um, and pinpoint specific information there. Um, if we go back to the collections. You can also see within, so if we scroll down on here, you can see that some of them again are listed and some of them have hyperlinks on there where you can click and open them up. Some have been digitized, not all, but it's a great way to find out what is available in the community. And finally, if you wanna go on a little bit bigger scale, you should check out the Library of Congress. They have a wide variety of materials um, related to this area. So we're interested in Salem, Oregon. Hit the search function and it brings up a wide variety of photographs, maps, and other visual imagery related to this area. So there you have it, eight sites to start you on your search for historical photos of the Mid Willamette Valley. Remember, many organizations are just starting the digital access process. As always, we recommend contacting the institutions around you directly for more information about their photographic holdings. You can contact the Willamette Heritage Center by emailing research at willametteheritage.org. Happy researching!